what's going on guys welcome back to another hunting boot camp so today i'm going over kayak hunting tips for beginners so if you're thinking about getting into kayak hunting and you don't know where to start this is the video for you so the first tip is to know what you want and to really know what you want and what you can get away with you need to answer a few questions before you even purchase your kayak so probably the main one is uh what's your budget how much money do you have because right you know that's going to be a limiting factor for a lot of people is how much money you have Going off of that then, you gotta choose what kind of kayak you want, what you want your kayak for. Do you want it merely for transportation, like I use? You know, I don't hunt out of my kayak. I hate shooting from this position. It's uncomfortable for me, and I do better when I'm standing up. So do you wanna use your kayak merely for transportation, or do you wanna hunt out of it, put a blind on it, you know, use it for that? Also, you gotta figure out how you're gonna haul it. Is it gonna fit in your truck? Is it gonna fit in your SUV or car or whatever you use to haul out to the blind, to the marsh? And finally, you know, you need to know how stable it is. So maybe you're a little bigger guy, you need you need a bigger kayak. Maybe you want to haul a lot of gear, you're gonna need a bigger kayak as well. You gotta answer all these questions before you even pick out a kayak so you can get the right one for you. So the second tip is all about concealment. When you're picking out your kayak, don't pick out like a big colorful you know red or yellow or blue thing because that's going to make it that much harder to conceal and it doesn't matter if you're going to hunt out of it or use it merely for transportation this one was olive green when i purchased you know you want to go with the tan or the brown or olive green those are going to be the best colors generally to help conceal stuff that isn't going to stick out in the marsh going off of that you can see that i painted this and it's pretty easy all you need is some ultra flat paint they even have like camo specific paints at Walmart or Menards or wherever you get your paint at they have ultra flat and that's not gonna shine when the Sun hits it so that'll help just put a general concealing on it if you're gonna hunt out of it like a layout boat or layout line or have one of those lines that goes over it and that's what you're gonna do or make maybe you make one yourself you know weave in some grass weave in some native vegetation from around the area and you know if it's during teal season or early season when stuff is still green use that don't just use old dead grass from last year weave in some green stuff so you're not just sticking out and have it somewhat prepared before you go out but then take that extra time to weave it in when you get out there and you'll blend in that much better and probably get more birds to come in to you the next tip is figure out how to secure your gear and what I mean by that is you know obviously you want to be prepared for a worst case scenario um, is it gonna happen hopefully not but it, you always want to be prepared for it so secure your gear as you can see I have a gun holder here uh, these are just ATV ones that I retrofitted for my kayak so my gun isn't gonna budge when it goes out of there it has these little bungees on top and this stuff is like rubber it grips to my gun so if my kayak were to capsize that's gonna hold my gun on the back side you know I've got these bungees so those will bungee in and just as an example here here's my gear bag so I put the bungees over the gear bag and whatever else and then I have carabiners on all this stuff too. So I just put those onto the bungee. So even if the bag falls out, it's gonna be attached to the bungee. Stuff might get wet in here, but that's better than it being at the bottom of a lake or marsh or whatever. So figure out a way to secure your gear just in case you know something bad happens, you capsize or who knows. The next tip is about hauling your decoys. So as I've said before in a couple other videos, I have all my decoys on Texas rigs. That's what works best for me. I have holes drilled in the back that I just put the clips on and you can pull them, you can pull a sled behind them, or you can stack them. I've done all three. Pulling them without anything is definitely the toughest because those weights get down and you know they drag and it, it's just it's a pain, it's a big pain. Stacking them is fine if you don't have a lot of decoys or if you have a bigger kayak than mine, you know, I can get two dozen decoys on here just by stacking. It's not the most comfortable and you know, I've got them up here and I've got them loaded up back here, but I can do it. The best way I would say though is to simply get a decoy sled and I made a video about this earlier as well, but get a decoy sled, put it in the back, even if you don't have your decoys with a Texas rig, if you just have them in a decoy bag, throw the bag in your sled and they'll ride fine there and you can fit more stuff behind you or in front of you. So the next tip is practice before you go out. Once you get your kayak, take it out, take it out to your local lake, pond, whatever, 
and just try it out. Try out just the kayak, then try out with your gear or maybe something that's the similar weight of it because you've got to know how maneuverable it is. Um, take it out in, in some wind or rain, whatever conditions you think that you're going to be willing to hunt in, you need to practice before you go out so you know kind of what to do and it's better to practice in the summer when if you fall out you're not gonna get hypothermia so take it out practice now and it'll make you more prepared in the fall so the final tip is simply be safe and what i mean by that is know your limits you know know what your kayak is capable of that's why i was just mentioning practicing practicing with your kayak before taking it out hunting watch the weather wind cold precip all those can affect the maneuverability of your kayak can affect your hunt obviously when it's cold, windy, snowy days, those are going to be really good duck days generally, um, but it's not worth losing your life over. Always wear a life jacket. I believe this is a law in most states. To, you can't even go out in a kayak legally without a life jacket on, but always have that on. Um, you know, once again, yeah, you want to come back so you can keep hunting time and time again. Let someone know where you're going when you expect to be back. Uh, so if you don't show up or they don't hear from you, they can start looking for you. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but always, you know, always be prepared for the worst case scenario. And finally, if you can go with someone else, kayaking in the dark, kayaking in wind, kayaking in cold weather, it could all go south really quickly. Um, if you have another person there, they can help or you can help them, whatever happens. Try to go out with someone if at all possible, but just common sense things, just be smart about it so you can keep kayak hunting, keep duck hunting in the future, and uh, enjoy more time outdoors. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Drop a comment, let me know what your thoughts were. Subscribe if you haven't already so you stay up to date with the latest hunting boot camps. These come out every Monday in the off season. So we've only got seven more of these left. That's right, seven weeks until September 1st, and we can go dove hunting. And then more hunting videos once that happens. We got fishing videos until then as well. Unboxing videos, gear reviews, all that good stuff. And some cooking videos coming at you too. So if any of that piques your interest, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can stay up to date with the hunts, the fishing trips, whatever, in real time. And we'll catch you out there, guys. See ya.